We continue to learn more about the deadly shooting at a Planned Parenthood clinic in Colorado yesterday. 57-year-old Robert Lewis Deer of North Carolina surrendered to police after the hours-long standoff. His neighbors in Black Mountain near Asheville say he kept mostly to himself, and authorities are suggesting his mental health is part of the investigation. WNCN's Bo Minnick is in the studio. He's been digging into Deer's past, and we'll have more on his ties to North Carolina in just a moment. But first, Leanne Gregg has the latest from Colorado. Amazing. A vigil at a Colorado Springs church, the first of several to pay tribute to victims of a gunman who terrorized a neighborhood. You are our community and our hearts break together for what has just happened. On Friday, reports of shots fired near a Planned Parenthood office in the west side of Colorado Springs. When police arrived, they were met with a hail of gunfire. Law enforcement sources say the shooter, armed with an AK-47 type rifle, fired into a strip mall, wounding nine and killing three. A bullet shattered Ozzy Lucano's windshield as he was caught in the crossfire. Broken glass caused superficial injuries. He described what could have been much worse. Oh, he was looking directly in my face and he was aiming for my head. I could see it in his eyes. After a five-hour standoff, the gunman holed up inside Planned Parenthood finally gave up and was taken into custody. The Colorado Springs mayor is among those who praised first responders. Uh, there's no question in my mind that we could have had more victims uh, but for uh, the incredible work of the first responders in this case. And now as this community mourns its loss, an investigation is underway into what led to the shooting. Because of previous threats, Planned Parenthood had a security plan in place, including a safe room where some of the employees and clients hid. Officials say that may have saved lives. Leanne Gregg, NBC News, Colorado Springs, Colorado. As we said, the suspect in the shooting has ties to North Carolina, and today we're hearing from North Carolinians who knew Robert Louis Deer. WNCN's Bo Minnick has been working on those local ties. Bo, what have you learned are the North Carolina connections? Well, Maggie, this suspect, Robert Deer, has two properties in the western part of the state. And just a short time ago, I got off the phone with one of his neighbors who says just by talking to Deer, he had a feeling that something wasn't right. These are our first looks at the outside of Robert Deer's home in Black Mountain, North Carolina. The Associated Press took these photos. A sign out front says no trespass, a cross made of twigs nailed to the side of the house. James Russell lives not too far from this house. We reached him by phone. We haven't seen him in the neighborhood for over a year, which we were glad of because, you know, we all knew that he was he was kind of off. He kind of sketchy personality. This is one of two homes Deer has in Buncombe County. WNCN has confirmed Deer has homes in Swannanoa, along with the property in Black Mountain. Russell tells us Deer tried to avoid making eye contact with people. He says two topics he never heard Deer discuss were religion or abortion. You could tell he wasn't stable, you know, that um, just in conversation, uh, you know, things weren't really cohesive. Authorities have not released a motive for the attack in Colorado, but given the fact it happened at a Planned Parenthood clinic, the mayor of Colorado Springs says people can make inferences from where it took place. We stopped by Planned Parenthood's Raleigh office. They say their organization always has strong security measures in place, and the regional president says the organization will not be intimidated from providing high-quality health care in a safe, supportive environment. As for how Deer's neighbor in North Carolina is feeling following what happened. It's ridiculous, you know, it's terrible. It's quite a shame, you know, and uh, it absolutely makes me mad, you know. I could say a few cuss words, but I'm not. Russell says Deer had been in the neighborhood for about five to seven years. He and other neighbors also called animal control on Deer years ago when he says he was worried that Deer was being abusive to a dog. Bo Minnick, WNCN News. Story